<laughs> Morning. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, it's great to be here in sunny South Florida. Uh, we had a nice steamy one yesterday. Uh, you know, we're fortunate to, to be in the South at in, uh, Clemson, and uh, so we're kind of used to it. But uh, it was a little warm yesterday, but our guys, uh, uh, had, we had a great practice. Um, it's been uh, almost a month now since we've played, and it seems like forever ago. And it's kind of uh, in preparation. It's like the opener for us again. Uh, but uh, we've had a good couple of weeks of preparation. Looking forward to play a great Ohio State uh, football team and uh, in the Orange Bowl. Accommodations uh, and uh, our setup, practice facility, hotel, uh, our group of uh, the Orange Coats uh, are, are first class. They're the absolute best uh, in the business. So uh, we're fortunate to be here in the Orange Bowl and represent the ACC. And, uh, and again, just look forward to uh, January 3rd and having a, uh, a great football game against, uh, again, a real quality opponent in Ohio State. Right, we've got microphones on both sides of the room. If you get their attention, they'll bring the microphones over to you. If we can start just with your name and your affiliation, and we'll open it up with questions for either of our student athletes. All the way to the left in the front row. Um, they're a great unit working together. I feel like they're very physical. Um, Self-confident group of guys, you know, um, just seeing the comments that Coach Meyer has about them. And um, but it's, they feel like it's going to be a great challenge for us. And um, I feel like it's going to be a good matchup in the trenches. And okay, we'll go in the second row all the way to the right. Yeah, let's flip the on off switch in the bottom. <coughs> Bill Rabinowitz from the Columbus Dispatch. Probably not a uh, fun topic for you, but the game two years ago here, I don't know how much you guys played, Spencer or Grady, but could you talk about just how much motivation that is, what went wrong in that game, and how much motivation it is to, to play better? Um. It's definitely it was definitely disappointing a couple years ago when we were down here, but um, I feel like this is a completely different team with a complete different maturity level and, and a whole group of guys. And I feel like that this program has came a long way in the last two years, and we're definitely looking forward to getting the opportunity to redeem ourselves in the Orange Bowl and, and definitely against such a great opponent. Um, just like Spencer said, we focus on this game and. Uh, us being down here two years ago has nothing to do with this year or coming into the new year. So that's going to be our first game of 2014. So we want to start off the year right and um, everything, all that is in the past. And um, we came so far in two years um, as a whole team, me as myself and me as Spencer. And I mean, Spencer, we just made so much progress and we're just looking forward to starting 2014 off right. Go over here on the left of the front row. Doug Lee Maurice, Cleveland.com for both of you guys. Um, obviously, Ohio State has two guys who can run the ball, and Braxton Miller and Carlos Hyde. They ha they throw the ball too, but you know, with that running game, is there any idea of sort of stop the run and make them throw, or how do you sort of go about evaluating how you might stop this Ohio State offense? Well, I know it's just it's going to take all eleven guys on defense. Um, there's, you get, every time they drop back, you got to you got to kind of take in consideration him taking off and scrambling. We don't really want to get into details about what exactly we're going to do. Maybe Coach Venable will answer that for you later. But uh, it, it's definitely going to be a challenge. It's going to, definitely going to take the whole defense. Um, like, <clears throat> like you said, it's going to be a challenge. But with me, you know, it all starts in the trenches. So just, so just winning the line of scrimmage. And, um, you know, you say that they're both good runners. But I feel, like, I feel like he's undervalued as a passer as well. So, you know, we're preparing for it all. And um, so we, we got to stop running pass. We just – Got to, got to get off the field. Right, on the inside aisle directly in front of you. Hey, Coach, Aaron Brenner from the uh, Post and Courier. We, we hear all the time about the maturity of certain teams as they head out on bowl trips. I, is there a lot to that about a, an older team performing better in bowls? And then how does this Clemson team compare with others you've coached in the past? Well, I mean, th there's no doubt that, uh, that guys have been there, done that, um, that, that, you know, you hope that that uh, – you know, lends credibility to the idea that they're going to stay focused, those types of things. But every year is different. And I think we've, we've got good leadership. I think we've got guys that uh, are incredibly prideful. Uh, you know, we lost our last game. They lost their last game. So you, you, as, as competitors, you feel like you got a lot to prove. And uh, you're somewhat, uh, to a certain degree, humbled 
uh, from your last outing, so you're hungrier, you're a little bit more focused, and sometimes when you're when you're challenged that way, that's what it takes. But uh, we'll see. You know, uh, the games. You know, Friday we've got a few more days in regards to that preparation and the focus, and uh, you know, not allowing uh, distractions to take place. Uh, we'll see if we can weather the next 24 hours. Uh, but our guys are. Uh, I like our group of guys. I really do. Um, it's a group of guys that are close. We've got great chemistry. I'm sure Ohio State can probably say the same thing, um, but uh, two uh, tradition-rich uh, programs that, um, again, are. Uh, I believe if you, there's a lot of uh, parallels in both programs. And you know that I think we pride ourselves on being tough, and uh, and uh, and again, we've got good again upper-class leadership. Uh, you know, Spencer's a senior, Grady's a junior, and uh, it's a it's a player-driven team. I really believe that. So. Uh, they're hungry uh, for the for the challenge, uh, hungry for the opportunity of uh, redemption. Not two years ago, uh, redemption. At, hey, look, we, we fell short of our ultimate goals this year, but uh, you know we fought ourselves, uh, fought our way to put ourselves in this position to uh, get on a big stage against a great great uh, opponent, and uh, and a chance to prove our medal. So um, you know, uh, short. Short of making it to Pasadena, this is the next best opportunity uh, we could ask for and hope for. All, right, all the way on the left. In here? Okay, where are we? Oh, I'm here. sorry, right in the middle. I'm Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Uh, Spencer, you touched on a little earlier about Braxton Miller, but can you talk just a little more detail about how is he different from other quarterbacks? What makes him unique to, to have to cover against him? Um, I would say just his overall ability and and skilled to, to run the ball and throw the ball he's he's can well, with some of the plays we see him make on make on film it's just unbelievable mm -hmm. to sit there and watch and you, you rewind it over and over and you still can't believe it every single time you watch it so it's uh it's definitely definitely it's going to be a great challenge for us and and especially considering the offensive line that he has in front of him they're all they're all all americans for the most part that's what it, that's what it looks like and they all you rarely see a mental error or, or, or giving up a sack or or anything like that. So it's it's definitely probably just the overall offense and, and the guys that he ever has around him that, that makes him a lot better. Go all the way to the right in the second row. Yes, for any of you, what makes Vi uh, Vic Beasley special? Uh, he's, he's just got the uncanny quickness and explosiveness, his short area uh, burst. Um, you know, top that with he didn't have great size but he's got incredible strength and ability to leverage you know probably pound for pound he's uh, one of the top two or three guys on our team uh, strength wise and uh, so he can you know play like a 265 pound guy when he needs to as well against uh, bigger stronger opponents double teams those types of things so that blend of of uh, natural strength um, and uh, his quickness uh, is pretty special I'll go back to the left side here, about four rows back. Hi, uh, Christina Di Nicola, FoxSportsFlorida.com. Uh, coach, this game is kind of being labeled as you know possible shootout. How do you, I know, approach <laughs> I it? Don't, or? I don't ever think. I you know yeah. I mean, uh, I don't I don't like that uh, one bit. I mean, I'd be lying to say, oh, you know, we'll be you know. Well, we're not. But it doesn't matter if it's Ohio State. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers. It doesn't matter. Your job on defense is to stop people. So when somebody says it's Everybody wants to say it's a shootout. You know, you take offense to that. And uh, that's uh, – but that's not just this game. You know, that's – you play in a high-powered offense. And in today's uh, age of football, whether it's at the NFL or it's in college, uh, you know, it, they're offensive-driven. And, and uh, the rules set it up for them to, uh, to have an advantage, uh, per se. And uh, – but – uh, we know we have a, a great challenge, uh, you know, on, on Friday night. But, uh, uh, you know, we're not playing it on defense. And like, let's just get one more stop than them. That's not how we operate, and uh, no matter who we're playing. So, uh, you know, we know that if we don't do things right, we turn the ball over, uh, we give up big plays, we don't stop the run, we don't have somebody in the A-gap when we need to, then they'll, they'll break the scoreboard. And, uh, but that's not any different than any other week. Uh, when you're playing a quality offensive opponent. And again, they got a, a ton of experience uh, and a great uh, supporting cast, Braxton Miller and, and Hyde, you know, with again, we've talked about the line, but they've got uh, big, fast receivers uh, as well. And they'll try to take the top off the defense too in the back end. So, uh, you know, that's what I think about it. And uh, that's not what we're planning for. And, uh, but we'll see, it's why you play the game. 
Is that your Co question? Coach in the back, uh, Mark Dofer, WYFF out of Greenville. We're going standing up all the way in the back next to the camera in the red shirt. Um, can you talk specifically about Braxton Miller and the, the, the challenge you guys have in, in um, at the very least, trying to slow him down? That was for you, Coach. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, it's again, again, he's got a, a, a great blend of, uh, of size and, and uncanny speed. We've seen some athletic quarterbacks this year, but none with the speed that he has. And uh, with his size and strength, he can run through trash because of his strength. Uh, like a running back, he's got eyes in the back of his head. He, he sees guys from all angles. He's just got an uncanny ability in the pocket to feel pressure. And then again, they've got a ton of design quarterback run games. and. Sometimes one of the worst things you can do is cover the guys down the field because then he's, he's going to pull it down. So I uh, say that in jest, but, uh, you know, he's got a great <coughs> supporting cast on top of, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, great ability. But uh, he's got a huge arm, and uh, so he can throw the ball 60, 65, 70 yards, uh, you know, without much of an effort. And uh, so uh, those things combined in the style of uh, offense, you know, the systematic uh, you know, approach that they have, uh, it, it's all centered around that quarterback and that running back uh, to get things going. Go down here in the front row, all the way right. Brian Bennett with ESPN.com. This is for Brent. Maybe the players can weigh in on this as well. But uh, I know that Ohio State coach has visited with Clemson's uh, offensive staff uh, in the offseason, and Urban has said he's taken some things from Coach Morris. Do you see similarities uh, between their offense and, and what you guys do when you watch it on film? It's funny. We say it all the time in our, our, our meetings. And it's not just them. It's a lot of these offenses that you're seeing. You, know, you watch the 49ers uh, with Kaepernick. Or, but it's like they, all these boys went to the same retreat, uh, the same clinic, and uh, stealing ball plays from each other. I was watching Oregon uh, last night. <coughs> Hopefully our guys were too. I'm like, that's what they do. You know, it's – uh, whether it's a formation or it's a style of run or it's a style of play action pass off of it. And uh, so, yeah, there's definitely some similarities, but there's always uh, tweaks. And then there's, uh, again, we're, we're going against our scout team, you know, every day. And our scout team, is, it's hard for them to emulate, uh, truth be known, because of the, the sheer uh, physical ability uh, and, and certainly the speed as well. But, uh, yeah, there's similarities. But, uh, you know, I think there's similarities to a lot of, you know, offenses that, or the spread uh, with athletic, you know, quarterbacks these days. 